It's match day, the first of the five final match days of the season, with all still left to play for. Of course, it's Norwich who are today's opponents, and the game will be kicking off in a few hours' time now. In the meantime, we're here with a news update, and we'll start with a look back to last Saturday, when the academy under-18s thumped Huddersfield Town 5-0. Goals for Lawrence Wharton, Harry Pinchard, Daniel Griffiths and a brace for Sean Spence secured the three points in emphatic fashion for the Bluebirds, who are in action again today against Crew Alexandra. On Sunday the 8th of April, Cardiff City women's team were unfortunate to lose 3-2 to Cardiff Met after conceding the winning goal in the 89th minute. The women will now prepare for the FAW Cup final that's taking place tomorrow against Swansea City Ladies at Cardiff City Stadium. Kickoff is at 3 pm. On Monday, the 9th of April, Cardiff City's development side were beaten 2 0 by Birmingham City at Cardiff City Stadium. And a day later, the first team suffered a 1 0 defeat to Aston Villa at Villa Park. Tickets for the 2018 awards evening went on sale on Thursday the 12th of April, with the event selling out in under 24 hours. The evening is set to take place on May the 6th, following the Bluebirds' final game of the season against Reading. The development side were back in action on Thursday at Leckworth International Sports Stadium, a second defeat in a week for the under-23s though, losing 1-0 to Colchester United. And we wished a very happy birthday to Jazz Richards, who turned 27 on Thursday. Friday the 13th of April saw another round of Cardiff City Foundation soccer schools come to an end, thanks to all the young boys and girls who came along over the half-term period. And congratulations to Sol Bamba for being voted the EFL Sky Bet Championship's Goal of the Month for March with his goal against Brentford. Sol is also up for our club goal of the month against seven other great goals scored across the club in March. The nominations are up now and if you haven't done so yet, make sure you cast your vote via our online poll.